let's start uh, welcome everyone to this webinar on how cloud based erp can give you a competitive advantage this webinar is brought to you from dropsoft uh, we are a, a solution provider partner of oracle netsuite and uh, in today's webinar i have um, you know uh, let me introduce uh, mr imtiaz actually he is uh, uh, our business development consultant at Thropsoft. Hi, everyone. Yeah, hi, Mtiaz. And uh, I am Sunil Khanna. I uh, I am principal consultant with Thropsoft. So over to you, Mtiaz, uh, taking us through this webinar. Yeah. Thank you, Sunil. So first of all, we welcome everyone to this webinar. Okay. So today's topic is how cloud-based ERP can give you competitive edge. Okay, so now you can uh, see like every company is using ERP solutions or some sort of solutions like any kind of accounting package of CRM solutions. So we have uh, brought this webinar for you to, uh, which will help you to decide which ERP is best for you. And uh, we believe you are going to learn a lot of things in this webinar. So this is about uh, ourselves. So. Uh, we are all from groups of services private limited and uh, we have started this journey in 2019 okay now it's been around more than 10 years okay and we have grown and uh, and we are we have partnership of salesforce and since 2018 we are partner of oracle netsuite and uh, you can see like in last 2021 we were the top emerging solution provider from south india and this is how we are growing up. And uh, now we can say we are a family of more than 110 consultants at Groupsoft. Now, like uh, uh, the speakers, so uh, myself, Imtiaz, here, I am the sales manager here. And with me, we have Mr. Sunil Khanna, he is our principal consultant. So, both will be discussing like uh, about the different type of ERP solutions and how it is going to be helpful for you. And it will definitely help you to choose the right ERP solutions for you. So today's agenda is going to be, uh, we will have a little bit walk through of what is ERP, what do we understand uh, from the ERP. And we will also compare different ERP solutions. Okay? And, uh, and we will also try to tell you about NetSuite ERP solution, which comes from the Oracle. And uh, we'll tell you why uh, NetSuite is going to be suitable for you. And we will also discuss a lot of functionalities about NetSuite solutions. And we will also do an exercise kind of exercise on TCA, which is nothing but total cost of ownership. So when we talk about cloud ERP solutions or on-premise solutions, we will also talk about the total cost of ownership. So this will definitely help you to select right ERP solutions for you. And after that, we'll also have a Q&A, question and answer solutions. Uh, uh, discussion where you can put your questions in the chat box even uh, during the webinar if you have any questions you can always put in the chat section uh, we will try to answer so this is uh, about the typical erp so what we understand about the erp solutions is like uh, in any organization there are a lot of uh, i mean a couple of uh, departments are there Let's say for HR department, accounting department, sales department, profit department, and there are some dedicated person who manage the inventory. So when any system which automate complete process across the departments is called typical a ERP solution, enterprise resource planning, wherein we can automate complete organization process and uh, we can put all the data integrated in a single system. So this is the typical ERP definition. And I believe uh, you all know about this ERP, how it works, and uh, what is the definition of ERP. So we, we are not going to spend a lot of time uh, defining this ERP things. Rather, we will go for uh, the what type of ERP solutions is available in the market and which is best fit for us. So basically, there are uh, two type of solutions, ERP solutions in the market, which is known as the cloud ERP and on-premise ERP solutions. So cloud ERP solution is nothing in other, another terminology we can say as a SaaS based. 
which is you know, available as a services so which you can subscribe and you can use it and uh, other solution is on premise which uh, like you can maintain your server or it infrastructure within your on premise and you can uh, buy the license uh, from the different vendors and you can host it in your server and you can use it okay and uh, coming again to the cloud erp solution uh, which looks initially a little bit high in the cost uh, because the vendors is going to manage your data and security and everything and uh, and the on premise solutions you have to manage your security and everything okay and the vendor will give you the applications okay so there is a little bit comparison between this uh, so which will definitely help you now coming to this cloud based erp solution so talking about the cost so the upfront cost is low and predictable predictable means uh, you will have complete uh, pricing information like uh, this year this is the cost and uh, next year and after that what is the cost would be with you so you can always have that transparency wherein uh, in the on premise solutions like you have to pay it one time and sometimes whenever the upgrades comes you have to again pay for the upgradations so in that case you never know what would be the upgradation charges from the license point of view and the security things and cloud erp solutions data security is always with the vendors it's the vendors responsibility to uh, secure your data okay and to give you the 24 into 7 accessibility whether you are accessing it from your mobile applications or uh, web applications and in on premise solutions the security is always with you you have to maintain your security things security patches antivirus and all and coming to the customization part uh, offers stability and continuous updates so what that means is actually i'll just uh, you know, give you an example of uh, uh, let's take about gmail or facebook okay so uh, you never know on which version you are Okay. so whenever some updates comes you can always go and upgrade your applications without any hassle right? and uh, you don't have to pay any extra charges here and the time to time the vendors send some upgradations and they also manage their best practices coming to this on premise solutions what happens uh, you know, uh, the updates is up to you like whenever you want to upgrade the solution you buy you buy it from the vendor and you upgrade the erp in that case what happens uh, it's uh, nothing but kind of re-implementation you have to again uh, do this re-implementation it's not that easy compared to this cloud-based erp solution and uh, cloud-based erp solution like you can say is, uh, 50 to 60 percent uh, are always uh, there as they ready. So you can always map your uh, existing system, existing process, and you can deploy in lesser time. An on-premise solution, uh, it's kind of, typically they take a lot of you know, uh, time when it's come to deployment and customization. So this is the typical, uh, uh, comparison between cloud-based ERP solutions and uh, on-premise solution. So, uh, Sunil, you want to add any point? Uh, the most important point between a cloud-based ERP and on-premise ERP, as uh, Imtia has already pointed out, is the predictability that you have. So, you have much better predictability both in terms of cost in terms of what you're going to get. That means in terms of uptime, reliability, so you have much better predictability with the cloud-based systems uh, than when it is compared to the on-premise system. So on-premise system, since they are hosted on your own servers within your company, you might be having like, you know, server downtime, um, you know, the failure of hardware, such kind of things can happen. And the day-to-day -day maintenance of on-premise system is on, uh, like, you know, is with you and not with the vendor. So in such cases, you you know you you cannot predict such kind of costs. Wherein in case of cloud, there is no such issue, 
I mean, they maintain enough, uh, you know, number of servers or enough number of, uh, you know, machines so that any in case of any downtime, they can quickly switch over to another server. So that's that's the advantage of uh, having a cloud-based ERP, and that's why more and more companies these days are moving towards cloud-based ERP. So now uh, it's the time. Uh, let me introduce our Oracle NetSuit. Uh, it's uh, number one cloud ERP solution. So what we claim, uh, because a lot of mid-sized and small-sized companies are moving toward the you know, uh, the cloud ERP solutions, wherein you can say like. Uh, uh, 25 to 30 percent customers are selecting Oracle NetSuite. Okay. So this uh, we will uh, take you in the next slide, and we will show you how uh, this is good for your company, and be it in services industries or manufacturing industry, wholesale distribution, e-commerce. So, so this this is a bit of snapshot uh, about the Oracle NetSuite. So since first day. It is designed on the cloud, so that's why we call it born in cloud ERP solutions. So, and it's been around 20 years of uh, time. Uh, more than 40,000 organizations are already in this cloud ERP solution. Okay, and uh, it has uh, customers across all the industries, okay. services industries, manufacturing, pharma, hospitality. And uh, this is baked by the Oracle. So in 2016, uh, Oracle has acquired this company. And every year, uh, they spend around 5 billion in research. Uh, this means like uh, they always give the users uh, best practices in the industry. They do the research like, uh, let's, for example, if the services company, what are the best practices there? So they do research on that and they try to bring it to the customers. So that they don't have to do a lot of customizations. Okay. So next slide, Sumi. Yeah, just want to highlight before we move to next slide. So as you know, NetSuite was born in the cloud. So one of the advantage compared to the other ERP products is that mm -hmm. this product is designed right from ground up in the cloud. Actually, the other solutions, what they have done is they have just, um, you know. Uh, changed or tweaked their solution to host in the cloud. So please understand this is not a hosted solution. And there is a difference when a solution is hosted, the efficiency, the transaction speed and the other things which are like, you know, attributed to the design, uh, which is there of the software uh, is not similar to as when it is, uh, you know, designed for the cloud actually. So uh, Oracle NetSuite being born in the cloud is very very important aspect over here so let us move to the next slide so it, it's much more than traditional erp so what that means actually so see uh, uh, we have a complete solution on single database so be it commerce omni channel uh, chart department accounting and all so all the data is in the, in the same database so in that case what happens we say like this is integrated erp solutions wherein it will help you to get the desired reportings and dashboard okay and it has the platform also so up to great extent you can uh, customize the erp solution you can design your own flow okay so this is the uh, our most part of it unified data and business intelligence so you don't have to put your data in different different silos then you are uh, integrating it and you are getting the report in our case it's not like that so uh, whichever modules you are using the database will be same so that uh, it's always accessible in no time yeah i just want to highlight here so as you understand with the you know diagram that is shown here uh, you know netsuite offers on top of the ERP, it offers you an industry specific flavor, like, you know, for different industries, whether it's software services, whether it's for startups, it's for trading companies or healthcare companies. So it has different flavors, which are there on top of, you know, the ERP, which is the basic ERP process. It also has an e-commerce module, which is called suite commerce. And it offers an omni-channel commerce, uh, you know, uh, features which are integrated to an ERP. So usually people or the companies that they go for, 
uh, you know, an additional product for the commerce e-commerce. Here with the NetSuite, the e-commerce company can use the module within the ERP that can help them. And on the other side, we also have a platform that can help us build the custom applications on top of the ERP. So this is this is a design which which is much more than the traditional ERP, uh, and it definitely brings much more value to the customers compared to the traditional ERPs. Uh, we'll move to the next slide now. Okay, Imtiaz. Yeah. So here on NetSuite, you will get role-based view. So in every company, uh, you see like uh, uh, departments are there: sales department, procurement department. Okay. Uh, vendors, customers, partners, okay, project management. So in that case, every uh, persona has different views. Okay, so just for example, sales people want to see like what are their day-to-day -day reports, tasks, their targets. Okay, and how many calls they have to do. Uh, how many sales order are pending so sales person will get their desired dashboard so whenever they open they will not see any junk dashboards or reports so they will see what they supposed to see so same case happens here at this finance manager or at this CFO level they want to see like what are their day-to-day -day transactions their profit their budget versus actual so whenever CFO logins and uh, uh, opens their dashboard then they will say their desired reports okay. and so in that case what happens uh, uh, you will get your desired dashboards for every role and every uh, uh, departments there is a different dashboards so that uh, you know, uh, if the people will not get mixed up and they will be focused on their work their task and they can increase their productivity yeah, so Oracle NetSuite is it is a cloud-based ERP solution. So it comes with mobile applications on all the OS so like Android, iPhone. Okay, and even you can access from your tab or uh, in your computer, and it is compatible with any browsers: Mozilla Firefox, okay, Internet Explorer, and uh, Google Chrome. So it's kind of uh, nowadays. Uh, everyone is going uh, for the digital solutions so they want systems which can be accessed from anywhere or anytime so this is what we are bringing to the table uh, so that you, know, you can always uh, uh, be up to date what is happening in, in your organizations what are the tasks so that you can meet up and uh, you can always increase your productivity okay and this will not step you uh, like unlike uh, in traditional ERP solutions, sometimes you might not have the access, may be restricting you. Uh, but going for the cloud solutions, you will you are always there. Uh, you can always have your you know data at your fingertip, and you can always see what the people under you, what they are doing, what is their productivity, and uh, you are just on the go. So this is also one of the important slide why to this business choose NetSuite ERP. So uh, now you can see like designed for the modern businesses. So every uh, nowadays all the businesses are very dynamic, right? And uh, process are changing, and uh, they need some system which can help them to grow. Not not to just help the manage data, but they the, the ERP solutions should be also there which can help them to grow with the business right so this is what we are designed for so uh, we also expose platform like already Sunil said like uh, oracle netsuit gives you the platform on top of that wherein you can customize okay and uh, you can design uh, whatever the applications you want whatever the post process flow is there you can always design that okay so that it will not stop you so you will keep growing and system will be with you always okay and it has unified data model okay and which delivers the business intelligence like it has uh, more than 300 plus bi tools where you can get your desired dashboards and reports and a lot of reports are there it is just a point and click so you can always design your dashboard okay so that uh, you know, uh, not always like you if you know the coding or any kind of technology then only you can design your dashboard so NetSuite brings that 
uh, reporting capability like without having any technical knowledge you can always design your dashboard and which will keep you up to date always and only channel commerce like you have all these solutions whether it is offline or online uh, business you have you can always have that so that you can you will get, have all your uh, database at single place and we build for your industry it means like uh, we have solutions even we have customers across all the industries okay we are pretty strong in services industries and e-commerce okay and uh, this is what uh, uh, we give the growing companies we offer our solutions and uh, we also make sure like uh, uh, we also grow with the companies so these are the uh, little numbers uh, which will help you to understand like the capability of Oracle. So, so more than 160 countries are already there who are using the uh, uh, NetSuite. It means like uh, the customer we have, uh, which have operations in more than 160 countries, they are using Oracle NetSuite solutions. Okay, and it is compatible with the uh, their local taxation system, and it has. 20 UI languages. It means uh, like uh, it supports uh, different languages. And yeah. plus. So let me take this up. I mean, yeah. there are 100 plus countries, uh, tax regimes, which are basically like, you know, configured in that suite. So you can calculate taxes according to 100 plus countries. Uh, for 200 plus countries and dependent ter territories, the transactions are happening on NetSuite. So, uh, you know, so as you know, in world, there are, you know, hardly around 200, 201 or 202 countries. So almost in every country, a transaction is happening, which is based on NetSuite or transacted on, on NetSuite. And we have 90 plus bank payment formats for different type of banks. So it is a global, you know, financial uh, system, global ERP financial system, actually, for the companies. So let me take this up as well. Uh, we have more than 215 countries and dependent territories as mentioned. Uh, it's similar slide to what we have actually uh, previously. So I'll try to skip this slide. I think some numbers got updated here. Um, in terms of the NetSuite, uh, you know, how it is enabling global uh, business growth actually. So we have uh, you know, 80 plus 80 percent plus, you know, improvement in terms of transactional activities outside US. So outside US, it is becoming more popular, actually. And 99 uh, percent of the customers of NetSuite, they transact in multiple currencies. So a lot of customers, in fact, they use multi-currency feature of NetSuite. And uh, in fact, 99 percent of them and 51 percent transact in multiple countries, while uh, around 57 countries, you know, uh, number of countries like, you know, that are operated by a single uh, customer. So this is, this will give you a size of a customer which has operations in 57 countries and they are operating on NetSuite, uh, like, you know, across all those countries with a single platform. So just imagine the, the, like, you know, the extent to which NetSuite can be like used flexibly across global organizations. And uh, in one of the single customer, there are 161 currencies that are used. So it's another example of uh, how global this particular system is. And uh, another single customer is having 557 subsidiaries created within NetSuite and each subsidiary for each subsidiary, there will be separate financial accounts. And this is all happening in one single system. So that is that is the I will call it actually beauty of this system, which uh, which can help you grow across the globe without having to, you know, purchase another new solution as such with the same single solution, same database. You can grow across the globe uh, in multiple countries, multiple currencies, multiple subsidiaries that you open up in different countries. So we are talking about the multi-currency and multi-country uh, solutions. So we have uh, one world solutions uh, in Oracle NetSuite, which will help you to bring out all the subsidiaries or legal entities across the world onto a single platform. 
so here you can see the uh, uh, diagram here if you have headquarter in a country and you have uh, another subsidies in different regions in that regions if you have multiple subsidies so in the single system you can handle it uh, sitting at one place okay so this is the beauty of uh, netsuite one world solutions okay so you don't have to you know uh, kind of uh, do the implementation separately for each and every country so once you sign up for the one world solution for that specific country you will get that uh, localizations so it supports multi currency and at that country level uh, the local taxation system also supports so in that case uh, the figure you have seen like uh, one company has 557 subsidies okay and, uh, and they are doing the transactions in 161 currencies so this is the beauty of one world solutions okay so these solutions are uh, you can grow up With the Oracle NetSuite, you can bring as many subsidies you want, legal entities you want. So this is what we offer. So coming to this uh, ERP features, so we have all the solutions what any other ERP solutions offers. Okay, like financial management, inventory, warehouse services, resource planning, procurement, supply chain management. So, but what uh, NetSuite? You know, makes the difference in the market is about the reporting systems and capability of one world solutions. Okay, so this typical uh, ERP features you can always get in other ERP solutions also. Uh, but when it comes to reportings and dashboards and handling other subsidiaries, where NetSuite is always on the top, and it's a purely cloud-based solution which will take you again uh, in the next slide. Uh, how? Uh, what is the difference between pure cloud solutions and uh, hosted cloud solutions and other on premise solutions so this will help you definitely to understand the architectures and beautiful beauty uh, beautiness of this oracle netsuite so customizations when it comes to netsuite is not something which is bad normally in the erp uh, you know industry when somebody says that okay there is a you know there is a customization which will cause the problems with the respect to upgrades that is the normal understanding so don't customize is what most of the erp vendors come and say actually but with the netsuite you can customize your netsuite erp and at the same time you don't have to worry about new features which are being released because all the customers of netsuite always remain on the same release and that is the latest release netsuite comes up with two major upgrades every year in these two major upgrades they come up with a lot of new features customizations that uh, you know these major features basically you know come at these two major upgrades every 6 months in addition to that throughout the year some minor upgrades do happen and with the help of this most of the Nest, uh, netsuite in fact not most all the netsuite customers they remain on the latest version of netsuite uh coming to the customers who have done some kind of customization so when they have done customization on us uh, on on netsuite when the upgrade happens their customization also upgrade to the new version so technically netsuite handle this very well and with the help of this uh, you know your customizations don't come in way of the upgrade or the you know making yourself late, getting la latest version of the erp product which is a major concern with the traditional erps like sap and uh, which is where you know you will have uh, you know a great advantage when you go for uh, a, 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 a cloud based solution like netsuite so let me also talk to you about the technology which is behind Uh, netsuite which is suite cloud and how we can extend netsuite uh, you know using this suite cloud platform actually so suite cloud is are the set of tools that are available to customize netsuite in a way that uh, you know that is easy to customize and you can customize it according to your organization's requirements so it has uh, you know these uh, different tools that are available one is called suite builder which basically help you create your custom data model within the netsuite you have suite flow which can help you create custom workflows 
you have sweet script where you can write your own code uh you know in the in the language of netsuite sweet talk is a tool which is available for you to integrate netsuite with other net you know other uh, enterprise applications we have sweet analytics that can help us you know create our own custom dashboards reports analytics actually and finally we also have something called sweet bundler so if you have developed some feature which you want to deploy across multiple netsuite environments you can use sweet bundler so sweet cloud is an entire set of technology features that can help you flexibility flexibly develop uh, or customize the netsuite components and deploy them actually very easily um, this is one of the i will call like you know greatest feature of netsuite it makes it very easy to customize and not only easy to customize also easy to like you know upgrade uh, what is what is customized so let me take up this slide and in terms of netsuite security and reliability uh, so netsuite has uh, all major you know it security certifications uh, you know with that netsuite i will call the most important certification is given by the customers itself you have some of the largest banks of the world using netsuite and that itself is a certificate of security and reliability you you uh, you know also have availability to the tune of 99.99% which is the actual performance in 2021 of netsuite so you have highly reliable system which is available uh, you know 99.99% time which is there um, let let's move to the next slide so this is what i was talking about this year comparison total cost of ownership so this slide is uh, definitely going to help you to select uh, which ERP is going to be for you and it will also help you to uh, set right budget for the app solutions. So now you can see uh, this mountain kind of thing, right? So this shows the on-premise as well as as cloud. So start with the on-premise solutions. If you see the upper part, uh, which is uh, on the uh, above the ground, so that is the kind of cost software license. It may looks a little. You know, budget friendly at the starting but if you see the hidden cost here there would be some implementation customization cost training which is always there hardware and software upgradations it resources in that case what happens when you are having any on premise solutions you should have or uh, you must have a it guy who will be handling or managing your servers as well as the erp licenses doing all the customization and things and he will do the updation, patches, security things. So you will have to have a dedicated resources who will be managing your system, which will help you to run your system and keeping it up and running. So there is always some hidden cost on the on-premise solutions. And one more uh, thing is here about the data backup. So in on-premise system, what happens if you have server at particular locations so just to avoid any natural disasters or you want to have a backup again you have to set up another server at different locations so just to avoid any kind of data loss right so this is one thing is always there so the start when you want to start with on-premise solutions on-premise crp solutions the software license may be catchy for you it may look it is very budget friendly for you but there are a lot of hidden costs there okay and once you have that server and set up you have to maintain the right temperature okay and uh, you should have one uh, room for that so this is always there when you compare with this as based solutions subscription fee uh, maybe look a little higher compared to on premise solutions okay and anyway, implementation and customization cost is always there. Training of user training is always there. That we can understand. Uh, but it's going to be one time. Uh, but you will get rid of a lot of other things. Like maintaining the server, maintaining the security, okay, maintaining the IT resources, infrastructures and all. 
and uh, the data security uh, will be handled by the vendor itself in terms of SaaS based solutions or cloud based solutions. But uh, in on premise solutions, you have to manage everything. Okay. License cost. Uh, when we talk about uh, on premise solutions, license cost may look like it is one time for the entire life. Uh, but the thing is, whenever they release some upgrades, you have to pay for that. And when you are going for the uh, upgradation, when you are upgrading your ERP solutions, so it's kind of re-implementation. It's not that you just add that upgradation and you will be on the new version. So it is kind of re-implementation. But in terms of cloud-based solutions, whenever the update is happening, you will always find yourself on the updated version without affecting your existing customization okay. and you can always convert uh, your uh, capital expenditure into operational expenditure in SaaS based but in on-premise you have to put a lot of capital expenditure in these things so, so here is the point you want to add see? sorry to interrupt so here as Imtiaz is pointing out, I mean, from the point of view of how it is we going to be treated account from the accounting point of view, you are converting your, you know, fixed expenses into some kind of variable expenses. And that also brings more predictability in terms of what your expenses are going to be. And you can handle uh, when we say like, you know, the system grows with you. So as your company is growing, you can you can handle those expenses uh, you know your number of users will grow so you can actually pay more uh, you know uh, you know the license fee etc based on that while in case of on premise kind of software most of your expenses happen upfront so one thing here as you can see i just also want to highlight so as you can see this iceberg where most of the costs are hidden there are large costs which are hidden for the on-premise uh, you know uh, iceberg compared to the iceberg which is for SaaS or cloud-based so it definitely makes sense for you for a company to if you are investing new it definitely makes sense for you to you know go for a cloud-based solution rather than an on-premise solution so there is also this comparison that is available uh, you know, which is for a hosted solution versus NetSuite. Now, a lot of times these vendors come, you have, uh, you know, Microsoft Dynamics or, you know, SAP, uh, you know, they come and they say that we have a cloud solution. But in actuality, that is a solution which is hosted on AWS or Azure. Finally, it's, it's not a pure cloud-based solution. A pure cloud-based solution is not a hosted solution. While AWS or Azure may be cloud, but it is hosted on the cloud. Finally, that particular solution, which is hosted on a cloud, is going to be maintained by you, your company. You will have to maintain that on an ongoing basis. While in case of a pure cloud-based solution, the maintenance of the solution, you know, the day-to-day -day maintenance of those, uh, you know, servers in the cloud, etc., is with the vendor itself. So again, the costs of uh, implementation customization might be same but the cost for the it resources the infrastructure management is still remain there even if it is in the cloud because your company has to maintain that uh, cloud resources on aws or azure which is not a cost for you in a saas based cloud solution which is netsuite uh, and even the ongoing a burden will be there for applying fixes, patches, upgrades, which will not be there with NetSuite. Um, you know, you will have to maintain performance, downtime, etc., on your own, which again is not there with with NetSuite. So, it definitely, even when you compare, you know, the 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 solution from on premise to a hosted solution on Azure or AWS to SaaS or pure cloud based solution, which is like NetSuite, definitely the pure cloud-based solution scores much high and uh, gives you much, uh, you know, lower TCO, that is total cost of ownership across all the systems. 
anything you want to add on this intias uh no but just one thing uh, like in this case in hosted solutions so what will be happening you will be managing two vendors one is for erp and one is for the hosting so if something happens uh, then obviously you need to check with the two vendors okay so it's nothing kind of a uh, extra burden for you yeah that's it it's a very good point that you have highlighted here so one of the objective also for any uh, you know company will be to reduce the number of vendors that they have so that there are less number of interfaces and it is easier to man manage it for you so definitely it's a very important aspect to be pointed out and a lot of time when you are between different vendors they point out to each other instead of solving the problem which will not be the case with oracle net suite um, it's a single vendor solution with end to end solution in the cloud completely from one single vendor so these are the couple of uh, customers we have across the world so we have around more than 27000 organizations in the world uh, we have every size of company mid size large size and a small size company and you can see like we have customers in all the industries say any verticals we have in software industries we have uh, customers in healthcare services Okay, in services industries, in AMP, non-profit, manufacturing, wholesale distribution, retail, e-commerce. So we have customers all across the world and all across the industries. So yes, yeah, so NetSuite is uh, can be fit with any industries with any process, and this will help you to grow uh, further in the journey. Uh, so this is the end of. Uh, slide so i think we have reached just question and answer round uh, so, so if you have any questions yeah. please write down in the q a box and uh, we will take up the questions now so let me start by uh, you know reading some of the questions that we have um, so one of the question is uh, in terms of the pricing of netsuite how is the price of NetSuite how it is priced? So let me answer this question, Intias. Uh, so NetSuite basically is priced based on uh, primarily two, two factors. Uh, one is the modules that you are purchasing. And the second factor is the number of users that you are purchasing. So you can buy NetSuite, uh, you know, uh, different modules like you know purchase module or sales module like that and also the number of users so based on these two factors it uh, you know defines the pricing that it is uh, that will come actually how much it will cost actually so it the, the the price of the net suite will vary significantly based on the need that you have actually because the modules that your company might require uh, you know, maybe different or number of users that you might require may be different actually. And uh, the price will also, you know, be different for different countries. Uh, so you can connect with us. We can help you in terms of, uh, like, you know, finding out the cost for your company based on the features or services that you are looking for actually. So that is, that is one of the question. Uh, there is also like, uh, you know, a question uh, which uh, we have actually uh, like uh, what are different type of organizations that use NetSuite? Um, I think let me take you through that particular slide. Uh, I will just navigate to. So this is these are some of the organizations that use NetSuite. As you can see, the organizations in different industries like software, healthcare, uh, you know, non-profits, manufacturing, wholesale distribution companies or retail companies are using NetSuite actually. These are only some of the industries. And some of the very well-known names in different industries are using NetSuite. So as you can see in software, we have Genesis, we have DocuSign, we have Zendesk. I know so we have snapchat these are some of the it software companies that are using actually in in case of healthcare you have ayurved dr agarwals these are you know companies from india you know which are using netsuite actually 
uh, on the other side like you know we have companies in non profits like kiva uh, you know healing waters etc that are using net sweet uh, in in the manufacturing industry we have different companies uh, like alpen 626 or spring free using net sweet the lot of distribution company net sweet is very popular among wholesale and distribution companies so some of them are mentioned here actually uh and then retail companies some of the retail companies are also mentioned so there are organizations of all industries all size and which use net suite and definitely net suite is very popular among the organizations that are ready to adopt the latest technology that are uh, you know in uh, mid size to enterprise segment organizations they all use net suite uh, no so there is also a question that i can see over here which is about implementation of net suite and uh, if i have to move to net suite from other softwares like quickbooks and all how i move to net suite and uh, what what is uh, you know the way so the companies like us uh, uh, you know dropsoft or ns success as we are called we basically help organization implement net suite and uh, net suite provides us the you know tools you can give your data that you have your existing data from your quickbooks or any other erp that you are currently using in the csv format and we can upload that in the net suite system um, so that is uh, that is something which can be done so you can upload your historical data in net suite and you can bring in your complete erp data from the previous system to net suite very easily um any more questions let me just check it um so extending net suite i mean there are um, you know if some feature or module which is not available in net suite uh that particular feature can be installed through some third party uh, like you know software vendors which are available actually these vendors create something called suite bundles and these suite bundles can be installed into your uh, like net suite so there are multiple suite bundles for example for banking integration you have some suite bundles that are available actually so that are there mm. we also have one question on uh, like what kind of analytics which is available in net suite so we do have uh, you know in built analytics tool called suite analytics which is available in net suite it comes with hundreds of reports and dashboards use we have a dashboard which is available at each account or each customer or a vendor level where you can see the complete performance of that customer or vendor and uh, these are customizable and you can you know definitely get much more benefit compared to a traditional system where there is no integrated reporting system which is there okay uh, for software industry like you know what features net suite offers so we do have uh, features that are available i mean for example we have net suite uh, professional services automation which is a separate module in itself that can be used for the companies like software companies which are do offering professional services so if you have any further questions please write down here i think we have answered all the questions so i see no more questions further so uh, i think we can conclude this uh, particular meeting imtiaz over to you ah uh, yes sir you can conclude this meeting in case you have any questions you can uh, you know connect with imtiaz in case you want to know more about oracle net suite and how it can be implemented in your organization uh, please connect with imtiaz we are based out of hyderabad and in india we provide our uh, you know implementation services support services on net suite uh for the clients within india and outside india um so connect with us for uh free no obligation consultant uh, consultation so you can 
uh, you know, connect with us. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, all the participants, thank you for taking out your time. And uh, looking forward to join, uh, you know, to, to have you in some of other future webinar again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a great day.